Hi, my name is Kaylee and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun if we did a super simple everyday makeup routine. Now this is sort of my go-to everyday makeup routine and one of the reasons it's such a go-to is because it is such a simple makeup routine. So in entirety, this makeup routine is going to be just 12 steps and I feel like you're really going to like the results. So the first thing we're going to do is of course prime. I use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and I feel like this primer gives such good results just for making my makeup lasts longer and it doesn't feel too heavy and just makeup really sits on the skin nicer. So that is the primer I use. Step two is I'm going to go in with the Selly Tint and Protect Tinted Serum. And the thing I like about the Selly product so much is all of them have SPF. So this tint serum actually has SPF 50 and I think it's like the perfect lightweight base but it also like protects your skin and since discovering this foundation this has become or serum this has become my go-to foundation that I just use every day I do makeup and you see like as I'm blending it in it still looks like my skin but it just looks like a better even version of it so then I go in with the Lancome all over concealer and I just use a little dot right here and one right here and that's the only concealer I use so after this concealer that is the base all done I feel like you can see just what a quick routine this is and I think part of the reason it's so quick is because I just really like the finish the products give my skin. So that is the whole base. It's pretty easy. I'm going to bronze just a little bit. And I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in medium. And I like this bronzer a lot because it adds just a little bit of color. But it doesn't feel like too dramatic like the contour. I've had this case for the bronzer for three years now, and then I just replace it. I don't know if you know this about Charlotte Tilbury powdered products, but a lot of the time you don't need to rebuy like the whole packaging. You can just buy sort of the pan and refill it. And I have hit pan on this three times. And I do like that, like, especially in the makeup industry, I feel like packaging is like a huge part of the waste we see so i think it's really nice that like brands like charlotte tilbury offer a nicer packaging experience but then you can just refill it i think that does sort of help cut down on the waste now it's time for blush i really like the selly blush and protect with spf 50s and my favorite shade is the shade betty and I just put a few dots. I take a blush brush and I just sort of dab it throughout my cheekbone. And the thing I like about the Selly blush and all the Selly products is I feel like it leaves a really nice glow. So I don't feel like I need highlighter or anything to add that shine back. Like I think the products themselves just give the perfect lightweight glow. I don't know why this spot on my cheek just does not really want to accept makeup today. And sometimes that happens. That is the skin base. And now it's just eyes, eyebrows, and lips. I don't know if any of you guys feel like this, but some days you want to look nice, but you don't want to do like a really long makeup routine. And I feel like this is the perfect, simple, everyday makeup routine. Then I'm going in with the RMS eye lights and this is in the shade flare and this is like one of my absolute favorite sort of cream eyeshadow products i just take the smallest amount and i place it on my finger and i use that tiny amount on either eye and then i just blend it out it doesn't need a lot 
like I feel like with this a little really goes a long way it just gives like a nice tiny bit more definition to your eyes and then I use my highlighter and I just drag this across the like the bone right here just to add a little bit more shape and definition and I just blend it out super simple like it's just the tiniest bit of makeup but it looks nice now my eyebrow routine pretty much stays the same every day and I have two steps I use the Patrick Ta and then I use the Refi brow pencil the Patrick Ta is the major brow lamination gel and this is for me like the perfect eyebrow product because it just set the eyebrows in place I have naturally quite thin eyebrows and they're very much like sisters not twins so I do like that it just holds my eyebrows basically it's like the perfect amount of support for me because I need a lot of support in the eyebrow department because I don't have a lot and then I just go in and fill them in with the brow pencil just ever so slightly I don't know if anyone else is like this but I find that when I find an eyebrow routine that works for me I just stick with it for years straight and I do not stray like if it works it works basically I found something I've liked and I've just stuck with that. I feel like that's such a good decision. Like, I feel like we have so much consumption in media, especially regarding like beauty. We're constantly being pushed new products that do like the same thing. So I don't know. I wish I had that level of contentment with everything in my life. Then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. My actual favorite mascara is the YSL Lash Clash in brown, but I completely used it up and I'm just, I do not see the point in repurchasing it when I have this mascara that works very well. And to be honest, the only reason I think I like the YSL more than this is because I like the brown shade. I'm not sure if anybody has like a similar problem, but my eyes apparently are very oily and like every bit of mascara unless it's a good mascara will like give me raccoon eyes and it's just not a good look so the reason i like both the rare beauty and the lash clash is simply because i don't have that issue with either of these products and pretty much every other mascara i've tried has given me that we are like almost done normally i do my setting spray before i do mascara but i forgot today so i'm just going to use the benefit professional super setter so the final two steps are lips i'm going to use two lip products the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in hot gossip and then this is the dior lip maximizer addict Addict? Addict. Addict in shade 38. I think it's called something like Rosebud. But that's it. That's the entire everyday makeup routine. I hope you feel like this is a really realistic makeup routine. Definitely let me know if you have any of the products or if you're interested in trying any of the products. I feel like this makeup routine for me feels so good just because it's so simple and easy. And I really like the results. I think at some point, like in 2016, like it was very much the trend to like contour and really change your face. And I like this makeup routine because I feel like with it on, I still look like me. I just look enhanced. Anyway, let me know down below what you guys think of this very simple everyday makeup look. My name is Kaylee. Thank you so much again for watching today's video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.